Well, it's finally time for some news on Pokemon's Teal Mask and Indigo Disc DLC. That is, if YouTube would've worked properly during the presentation. But now that I'm rested and informed, let's talk about all the new Pokemon revealed in the recent trailer. Why not get the biggest revelations out of the way first? There will indeed be two brand new Paradox Pokemon. Just as predicted, these are a past Pokemon resembling Raikou and a future Pokemon resembling Cobalion. They were shown very briefly in the trailer and then were not acknowledged in the rest of the presentation, but the official website has all the good stuff. Though aside from the key art images and the layout that covers the word AND, there isn't a whole lot else. Of course, the little blurb tells us that these are Pokemon we'll be able to encounter during the DLC adventures as well as the names of these Pokemon. The first one is Raging Bolt, which does a similar thing to Walking Wake where it interprets the design of a legendary beast as a dinosaur. And I love the concept of an electric type becoming a long neck creature where the fluff wrapping around its face resembles clouds absolutely amazing. Aside from that, I feel that this is a pretty expected design to follow the previous one, but I love how the Raiko colors look on a massive sauropod. I would assume it would be electric dragon type similar to Walking Wake, though it could also be base electric with a different secondary type. Then we have Iron Crown resembling a robotic version of Cobalion. Again, I'm not as interested in the future Paradox Pokemon as I am the past ones, but I think that Iron Crown is able to do something pretty cool. Its overall body shape is different from Cobalion, having a more graceful appearance rather than the sturdy physique. I also like how the crown part of it changes with some of the animations. If I had to guess the typing, I think it would be Steel and Psychic based off of what we know about Iron Leaves. The screenshots show these Pokemon inside Area Zero, so it looks like they'll be part of the story instead of being part of terror raids like the previous ones. I think ever since Walking Wake straight up made Suicune a dinosaur, I've been able to better enjoy Paradox Pokemon as not being tied in any real logic, and they just exist as their own insane reimaginings of familiar Pokemon. They're literally paradoxes, and that's pretty cool. Rewinding back to the Teal Mask, we see Ogrepan will be getting an alternate form when it terastalizes, and while I want to make fun of it, I see the point thematically as it makes the mask it's hiding behind even bigger to keep to itself. There isn't a whole lot else to be said about this form, but I would love to see other Pokemon have something similar. Though I won't have to wait too long because it turns out that Terrapagos also gets a Terrastal form as we finally have confirmation that the baby Terrapagos is actually the normal form. While the big disc we become so used to is the aforementioned Terrastal form. That's pretty interesting because then that makes this seemingly special Pokemon a lot smaller than we had originally thought. And even the screenshot makes the Terrastal form look kind of small. But we'll wait and see what else it'll be capable of. And of course there are some non-paradox and non-legendary Pokemon that were shown off. Diplin is not just an alternate form of Applin, but it's actually an evolution which I was pretty surprised about. It is about the same size as a Flapple, so that checks out. It's shaped like a candied apple, so that's neat, and I can't believe I didn't predict that with all the apples in Kitakami. The official website says that it appears as if the head that pops out and the tail sticking out behind it belong to two separate creatures. So it's like two applin worms living inside of one apple together. Diplin's signature move Syrup Bomb is a grass type damage dealing move that lowers the opponent's speed for three turns, while the ability Super Sweet Syrup lowers the evasiveness of opposing Pokemon once it enters battle. So basically the move Sweet Scent as an ability, that's kind of interesting. Then then we have Arcaludon, an evolution of Duraludon. It maintains the steel and dragon typing, and while standing big and tall, it can also lower itself into a drawbridge. That's, that's hilarious. Though it also kind of resembles a cannon, which fits with how it's now able to store and unleash electricity with its new move, Electroshot a two-turn electric move that can be used in one turn in rainy weather. Basically, the electric version of Solar Beam, but with the opposite weather. That's a nice touch that the evolution to Raihan's signature Pokemon has a weather-based move. Kind of neat in general how so far the two new evolutions shown off for the DLC are for Generation 8 Pokemon. I'm all for it. But those have been the new Pokemon as well as my thoughts and I guess mini theories behind them. Again, for the Paradox and Legendary Pokemon, we weren't given a whole lot of details about them, so it's gonna come to podcast worth of speculation to discuss what their roles in the story could be. But I will say that I'm pretty happy with what we'll be getting and what was showcased in the recent presentation. A few surprises and some validation. From these Pokemon, I would say that Raging Bolt is my favorite. I just love the past Paradox Pokemon and now specifically the ones based on the Legendary Beast. I really hope that there is actually an Entei one. The odds are looking pretty good. So let me know which of these Pokemon are your favorite and what you'll catch and evolve come next month in the first wave. Anyway, I've got to go prepare the Dinosaur Ranch for the brand new Paradox Pokemon. Thank you to every channel member for your continued support, especially the great Gators. Brandon Mork, Cheeseburger Lasers, Justin R, Cosmo Zero, Meme Supreme, Michaela, Mochizuki Yoru, Nomad Nobi, Quago, Taijirai, Volity, and Pastel Blood. If you would like to support, get your name shouted out here as well as access to emotes for comments, live streams, and sometimes early videos, you can become a channel member today. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more memes. Anyway, this has been GatorX, I'll catch you all later.
your adventure together in the Pokemon trading card game Scarlet and Violet. Coming soon. Products sold separately. Cards vary by pack.